Okay, have you ever heard the saying, the proverb, uh, two heads are better than one? Yeah. It means that, you know, if you put two people working on the same problem, chances are, are good you'll get a better result. Well, we're going to test that uh, proverb out uh, with this deck of cards, okay? It is a regular deck of cards. All the cards are there. And each of you are going to contribute to the trick, and hopefully something remarkable will happen. I'm going to give each one of you a joker, and Robbie, we'll start with you. What I want you to do is think of any number between 1 and 20, but don't tell me what it is. Got it? Okay. Take the deck and deal that many cards face down into a pile on the table, and when you're done, drop the joker face up on top. And I won't look. Henry, we're going to try not to count the cards, because you're going to have to pick a number in a minute anyway. So, okay, joker's on top. Bury the joker with the rest of the deck. Just drop it on there. Perfect. So I don't want to state the obvious, but if you had thought of a different number, that joker would be in a different part of the deck right now, right? Okay. Henry, I want you to think of a number between 1 and 20 and do the same thing. Deal that many cards into a pile on the table and drop the joker face up on top and then put the rest of the cards on top of that. And Robbie, we're going to try not to count his okay. number either. <laughs> but uh, so um, the two the jokers are being placed into the deck. Go ahead and drop the rest on top. In two entirely different places. And once again, to state the obvious, had you thought of a different number, the joker would have been in a different part of the deck. So now the jokers have been placed at a random or at a purposeful position that no one could have anticipated in advance. And what I'm going to do is take the card right next to each one of the jokers. And what we're going to do is create a card. Okay, and here's how we're going to do it. This joker says value on it, so we'll use the value of Henry's card to, to create the card. That is a queen. And this card says, uh, this joker has suit written on the back of it. So, Robbie, we'll use your card to create the suit, which is going to be diamonds. So the card that we just created through this random process is uh, the queen of diamonds. So you have contributed to creating a card, and we'll also have you contribute to creating a, a random number that no one could have known in advance. Robbie, what was your number? 17. 17. And Henry, what was yours? Six. Six. And if we add the two together, we get 23? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the deck, and from the face of the deck, so you can see that everything is fair and, and above board, count down to the 23rd card, and maybe something remarkable will happen. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now the number was twenty-three, and we're looking for the queen of diamonds, right? Twenty-one, twenty-two, <laughs> twenty-three, <laughs> and I think we really did yeah, something remarkable. Amazing. Good job, guys. Yeah, that is my <laughs> <laughs>